Okay, so in this question, a circuit contains a cell of electromotive force 9 volt and internal resistance 1 ohm together with a resistor of resistance 4 ohm as shown. The ammeter is ideal. Ideal ammeter means the resistance posed by the ammeter will be equal to 0. Although it is applied in series in the circuit, it does not supply the resistance to the circuit. So XY is a connecting wire which does not have any resistance as it is evident from the diagram. What is the reading of the ammeter? It means you need to find the total current that is coming out of the battery and it is flowing in this circuit. And we need to find the reading of the ammeter. Fine. Okay. So in this case, we can see that at the, there are two junctions here x and y so the current i that is coming uh, to the junction y from the positive terminal of the battery it is getting divided into two here and here this can be taken as i1 this current is taken as i2 now so there are two branches which are definitely in parallel connection in parallel connection more current will flow from the branch which is having lesser resistance and in this case, because the resistance of the XY wire is actually zero, the complete current will pass through XY and no current will go into 4 ohm resistance. It means I2 will come out to be equal to zero and I1 will be equal to I. So total current will move from Y to X. Now as a, as a, a cue, as a hint, I can tell you just just remember it that like if there is a wire which does not have any resistance all the complete current will pass through that wire and the other wire which is having a resistor will not have any current in it although the same can be learned by using the formula also i will show you that now let us say there is a resistor here and let me call it r1 and let me call this as r2 so as the formula goes i1 the current in the first branch is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into the total current and I2 is equal to R1 into I divided by R1 plus R2. There are many such formulas, very quick formulas, small formulas which can be derived very easily and generally they are not given in many books. So it might be that you don't uh, know this formula, you have seen this formula first time and so many things but these are absolutely correct formulas okay so now what is happening is r1 is actually equal to zero now by substituting this value in both of these equations what are we getting see here is the r1 in the numerator and so this means this will become zero so it actually means that it i2 is equal to zero so the current in the second branch is going to become zero if the first branch does not have any resistance even from the formula, we are getting the same thing. So current that is going from R ohm, 4 ohm will be 0 and I1 will be equal to I. So total current will pass to this. So now, learning these things now, we reach this conclusion that current will flow only in this loop. Like this. So if current is flowing in this loop, we can apply V is equal to IR. We want to find the current, that is total current, the reading of ammeter. What is the voltage applied? Voltage applied is 9 divided by the total resistance of the circuit. So if it is moving from this, ammeter does not have any resistor. XY does not have any resistor. This I will erase. And only resistor is 1 ohm. So I will divide it by 1 and I am getting the answer. 9 ampere so it means our answer should be c let us verify our answer from the mark scheme exactly the answer is c so with this all the best bye